Ukraine's using World War II-style fighter jets to down Russian drones on the battlefield is a humiliating blow to Vladimir Putin's war efforts. Dramatic footage taken from a Russian drone in April and circulated in media shows a Ukrainian Cold War-era propeller-driven plane named Yak-52s hunting it down in the sky above southern Ukraine. The footage showing Ukraine's Yak-52 plane in an intense dogfight with a Russian drone is reminiscent of World War II scenes. Retired commander of Royal Air Force, Air Marshal Greg Bagwell told The Sun that Ukraine has taken inspiration from British single-seat fighter aircraft named Spitfires in fighting Russian troops in the skies. Bagwell said using WW-2 style Yak-52 is an inexpensive and safe way of defending Ukraine's skies against Russian drones. We are seeing a rebirth of air power back from 1914 and 1940s. The reason we are seeing this is because these Russian drones are quite a nuisance for Ukraine, the retired air marshal said, adding that these aircraft and plenty and cheap. But they fly in relatively predictable profiles so they're quite vulnerable and fragile. Manufactured in the 1970s, the two-seat aircraft have been deployed by Ukrainian troops to track down Russian drones. The video published in social media, shows the co-pilot look up at the drone before shooting it down. In a separate video, Ukraine's vintage plane, named the Drone Hunter, can be seen circling Russia's Orlan UAV after it took damage from a direct hit over Ukraine's Odessa city. It should be noted that Ukraine's military have been consistently adapting and improving their aircraft and weaponry since Russia launched full-scale invasion of the country back in 2022. Ukrainians captured another of Russia's newest T-90M pro-rif tank and it is used against invaders. Ukrainian fighters captured the newest Russian T-90M pro-rif tank. As noted by Ukrainian military analyst Alexander Kovalenko, such vehicles have not been captured for many months. According to his calculations, the last time reliable data about the T-90M pro-rif falling into the hands of Ukrainian fighters appeared in September 2023. It is also known that in May 2024, one such tank was damaged, but there is no publicly available information about its evacuation into the Ukrainian rear. What can I say? Starting in 2024, and the most important thing is that I haven't said it for so long. There can never be too many trophies notes Kovalenko. According to the analysts' calculations, during a full-scale war, the Russians verified the loss of 145 T-90 tanks of all versions, although actual losses are 2 to 2.5 times higher. Of these, 15 cases of a tank being captured as a trophy have been verified, although even here, the actual numbers are probably noticeably higher. The T-90M breakthrough tank is a deep modernization of the Soviet T-72B tank and the most modern Russian tank today, if you do not take into account the de facto non-existent Armata. The T-90M was created to increase the combat capabilities of the main battle tank of the Russian Federation and adapt it to modern warfare requirements. The T-90M received a new turbocharged diesel engine providing higher power and maneuverability. Its armament includes a 125mm 2A 46M5 smoothbore gun, which can fire a wider range of ammunition, including guided missiles. The tank is also equipped with a modern Kalina fire control system, which includes sighting systems with thermal imaging channels that allow targeted fire in any conditions. The T-90M has improved protection thanks to active and dynamic armor systems, including the Arena-M system, which automatically detects and destroys incoming missiles and drones. However, it is likely that not all released copies receive them. According to foreign experts, before the outbreak of a full-scale war, Russia probably managed to produce about a hundred of these tanks. It is believed that by the end of 2023, Russian industry will produce 60 to 70 of these tanks per year. However, of the four T-90Ms produced, every three were produced by improving the old T-90As taken from storage and only one was built from scratch.